Hello, thank you for joining me and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a book review and the book I'm reviewing is entitled The Secret Lives of Babasegi's Wives and this book was written by Lola Shenaini uh, from Nigeria. So, Nigeria literature in the beauty. So, um, uh, Lola Shenaini takes us on a journey through the lives of Babasegi and his four wives. So, Babasegi was um, an illiterate man who had four wives. The th three of the wives uh, had children and the fourth wife who happens to be uh, a university graduate, she never had any child. And so, um, in the book, they describe the other three wives as... Um, Iyasegi, Iyatope, Iyafemi, and then uh, the last, uh, the fourth wife is Bonanle. She wasn't called, she, uh, she wasn't called Iya because she didn't have any child. In the Yoruba culture, when somebody has a child, they call that person after uh, the name of the child, just like uh, in Zambia. For example, if you want to say, uh, the mother to Maggie, you say Vanamagi or Womahe Magi, depending on the, um, on the side of the country where you're coming from. Uh, first of all, when, when Bolane joined this house, uh, this house, she wasn't supported by her family because a graduate just, you know, get married to an illiterate man and in a polygamous union for that matter. So that really didn't sit well with uh, Bolane's family. The mother was so upset and they did not even support her, but she said she knew what was best. And so um, then we see uh, how Lola actually blends the, the themes of, uh, you know, uh, polygamy, infertility, uh, education, illiteracy, African tradition, and also the modern culture, the, mod, uh, the modern culture, and also uh, the how society views uh, that's in, in terms of gender imbalances, and also corruption, and also underdevelopment. Uh, to just uh, into something that is more meaningful, something that is more coherent, something that is more, more fulfilling. I think I, I, I really, I really appreciate uh, the work that she did. Uh, on this book and so you know uh, being someone who grew up or who is in Africa I, I could relate so well and so much uh, to, uh, with the book so the coming of this university graduate in the house of Babasegi really you know exposed a lot of secrets it brought out a lot of things it sparked out a lot of hurt a lot of jealousy uh, a lot of envy and then um, there are a number of things that really stood out for me in this uh, in this book. The use of metaphors, you know, the diction, the prose, uh, just every the way everything just flows. You know, it really um, shows that uh, the author has a po a poetry or a poetic background. And uh, actually, Lol uh, Lola Shenaini is a renowned poet, and so you could see how she just you know writes everything uh, in the book in a poetic way. So the book was uh, just quite hilarious. It was it was so sad. It was emotional. So, um, I really appreciated the selection of words and just you know the structure the, the 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 morphology of the words that really you know stood out for me and another thing that stood out for me in the book was the character's voice I was able to hear every character's voice you know in as much as should uh, maybe narrate the story uh, from a neutral point of view I was still able to connect I was not lost I was still able to connect to this is whose voice and everything and so um it was so it was so satisfying, you know, to hear Bolanle, you know, explain her story in her own words, you know, her history, her background, her struggles, her fears, everything that she went through, and and, and also the other wives as well, you know, uh, the, the the thing, the struggles that the, that the, that they've been through in their lives have uh, that caused them to end up in Babasegi. Every vo every character's voice was it was very clear, and then it was even loud. I, I really thank uh, Lola for 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 that uh, kind of work because uh, it was very interesting. I was so much glued throughout uh, the entire book and so um, you could also not get lost you're able to tell when she's talking about the past and when she's talking about the present so that really stood out for me and another thing is how she handled you know the sensitive topics of infertility and abortion uh, in the book she handled it in in such a mature way in such a in such a way that will not cause any harm to the readers in such a way that is so healing and I I really thank her for handling such uh, such big topics in uh, in a mature way. And then uh, you know, I also I also appreciate how you know the healing the healing that the characters you know got or had after reviewing their secrets. Because you see, when you when when you keep something, it will keep it will, it will keep eating you up until you release yourself from that kind of thing. And so I really appreciate how you know how the. The, 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 the characters, you know, just received healing after, you know, being exposed or after their secret uh, got exposed. And in most African homes, when, when there's no child, mo the one who's mostly blamed is the wife or the woman. So is that always the case? 
so read the book and find out and i think another thing is the book really you know brings out the you know the, the way society just looks at women because you see you'd see babasegi having meetings with his fellow friends his, his male friends and they'll talk about women as just uh, uh being home and just having children and saying if a woman can't give you a child then what's the use of having her what's the need of having of, of having her in that home and i think uh, that's really um that's the notion in most African homes, uh, and I think that shouldn't be the case. So I really, I like the way like the way Lola really, you know, handled uh, that. And then um, the book is, you know, it's 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 very it's very interesting. It's a quick read. It's very relatable. You know, the the, the narrations are very relatable. You can just you know see uh, some parts. You can relate if if I know you can't you might not relate with everything but you might relate with at least some of the things that she shared in the book and then also i think i enjoyed the way you know the way babasegi would handle pressure because in the book it's it's it um it tells us to say babasegi couldn't keep any food in so the food could either come out from there or from there and so um and even when he's he's agitated he's facing a lot of pressure when he just you know when he just does that process you know he'll be fine and you'll be so calm and you know he'll just you just be okay and I, I think that that was really hilarious because you see you start imagining a man who's in a in, in a trough that's so big he's even sweeping the floor so it was, it was it was quite disgusting somehow again it was hilarious it was emotional i remember when segi died you know just them the, 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 the emotional part of everything I think I, 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 that, that really got to me I really felt bad and another part is uh, when Ebolanle revealed in front of the doctor and Babasegi that she was um, she was she, she had had an abortion and do you see how how Babasegi just reacted and it was, it was really emotional and um, and also talking of the underdevelopment and how just this um, the, 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 the how uh, things are handled in African in African hospitals or rather in African government. So it really brought out that and I, I, I was I was able to relate to most of the things. And I, I think that um Lola really did uh, a great job and so I'll direct this book. I'll give it four point one stars. I really enjoy it. I was so much glued. And so uh, if you'd want to, to, to read it, if you want to try it, I'm sure it's it's, it's the best book you can you can actually you know go for and just explore and just understand how things you know are done. And the, the culture in the book, I think it was the, the Yoruba culture from Nigeria. Personally, I don't, I don't support polygamy. I wouldn't really want, I wouldn't want to be in a polygamous union. But I, I, I respect the people that would. Um, but then, from the book, we could tell confusion, the, the confusion that was in Babasegi's household. And so, um, I, 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 you know, at, at the end of the book, you know, it just brings out Babasegi as the man that he is, you know, in the African context, you know, where he sits more like a judge, you know, trying to pass judgment on the, on the, on the wife to say, you should not do, you should not wear makeup, you should not leave this house, you know, just that, that, that's how a male figure is actually, you know, viewed in the African context. And I think, I don't quite agree, it shouldn't be like that. Is that when Ebolan left in the life of Babasegi, she discovered herself, she knew who she was, and she brought out a lot of things that Babasegi didn't even know. So I really um, appreciate Lola in this book. And so if you've read the book, can you share your views, share your, your thoughts on the book in the comment section down below. And if you'd want to try it kindly, uh, also indicate. And also if you've read the book, what really stood out for you, let's interact, let's talk. Uh, I think I will, I, will, I will end it here. So we've come to the end of the review. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video, and also uh, click the notification bell that every time I upload a video you'll be notified. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye.